Welcome, medical students, to today's lecture on gastroenterology. In this session, we will dive deep into the intricacies of various topics related to acute pancreatitis. Acute pancreatitis is a condition characterized by inflammation of the pancreas, which can lead to significant morbidity and mortality if not managed appropriately. Throughout this lecture, we will explore the pathogenesis, clinical management, and emerging therapies for different etiologies of acute pancreatitis. Gallstone-induced acute pancreatitis is the most common cause of pancreatitis worldwide. The pathogenesis of this condition involves the obstruction of the pancreatic duct by gallstones, leading to pancreatic injury and subsequent inflammation. In terms of clinical management, initial therapy focuses on supportive care, pain control, fluid resuscitation, and the use of antibiotics in specific circumstances. Additionally, endoscopic interventions, such as endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, ERCP, and sphincterotomy, may be required to remove the gallstones and alleviate the obstruction. Alcohol consumption is a significant risk factor for developing acute pancreatitis. The pathophysiology of alcoholic pancreatitis involves multiple mechanisms, including oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction, and activation of inflammatory pathways. Treatment strategies emphasize abstinence from alcohol, aggressive fluid resuscitation, pain management, and nutritional support. In severe cases, interventions like percutaneous drainage or surgical debridement may be necessary. Autoimmune pancreatitis is a rare form of chronic pancreatitis characterized by an autoimmune-mediated inflammatory process. The diagnosis of this condition is often challenging due to its similarity to other pancreatic disorders. Advanced imaging techniques, such as endoscopic ultrasound, EUS, and magnetic resonance cholangiopancreatography, MRCP, along with histopathological analysis, play a crucial role in establishing a definitive diagnosis. Emerging therapies, including corticosteroids and immune modulating agents, have shown promising results in managing autoimmune pancreatitis. Infections can trigger acute pancreatitis through various mechanisms, including direct invasion, microbial toxins, and inflammatory responses. Bacterial infections, such as those caused by Escherichia coli or Salmonella SPP, are the most common infectious etiologies. Prompt recognition and appropriate antimicrobial therapy are crucial for managing infectious pancreatitis. In severe cases, interventions like drainage of infected collections or surgical debridement may be necessary. Certain medications have been associated with the development of pancreatitis. The mechanisms underlying drug-induced pancreatitis are complex and can involve direct toxic effects on pancreatic cells, immune-mediated reactions, or metabolic disturbances. Some high-risk medications include certain antibiotics, immunosuppressants, diuretics, and antiepileptic drugs. Awareness of these associations, prompt recognition, and immediate cessation of the offending agent are essential for managing drug-induced pancreatitis. Severe acute pancreatitis is a critical condition associated with significant morbidity and mortality. Various predictive scoring systems, such as the Ranson Criteria and the Acute Physiology and Chronic Health Evaluation, Apache 2 score, help assess the severity of the disease, guide treatment decisions, and predict outcomes. Intensive care management focuses on aggressive fluid resuscitation, pain control, nutritional support, and close monitoring for potential complications like infected necrosis or organ failure. Imaging plays a vital role in diagnosing and monitoring the progression of acute necrotizing pancreatitis, a severe form of the disease associated with tissue necrosis and infection. Multiple imaging modalities, including computed tomography, CT, magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, and use, provide valuable information regarding disease extent, complications, and guiding therapeutic interventions. This paragraph will provide a comprehensive comparative analysis of these imaging modalities in the context of acute necrotizing pancreatitis. Pancreatic pseudocysts are fluid-filled sacs that develop in the pancreas as a consequence of pancreatic inflammation or injury. This paragraph will delve into the diagnostic approaches for pancreatic pseudocysts, including imaging studies like CT scan, MRI, and use. Furthermore, we will explore the various complications associated with pancreatic pseudocysts, such as infection, rupture, and hemorrhage. Therapeutic options, including endoscopic cystogastrostomy and percutaneous drainage, will also be discussed. Acute pancreatitis in children represents a distinct entity compared to adults. This paragraph will highlight the unique clinical characteristics and risk factors specific to pediatric patients. We will also discuss the challenges involved in diagnosing and managing acute pancreatitis in children, including considerations for nutritional support and long-term complications. Emphasis will be placed on collaborative multidisciplinary care involving pediatric gastroenterologists, surgeons, and nutritionists. 
Hypertriglyceridemia can lead to the development of acute pancreatitis, particularly when triglyceride levels exceed 1000 mg dl. This paragraph will explore the diagnostic approaches for identifying hypertriglyceridemia-induced pancreatitis and the role of lipid-lowering therapies. We will discuss therapeutic approaches, including plasmapheresis and insulin therapy, to rapidly lower triglyceride levels and prevent recurrent episodes of pancreatitis. Idiopathic acute pancreatitis refers to cases where no identifiable cause can be ascertained. This paragraph will explore the emerging role of genetic factors in contributing to the development of idiopathic pancreatitis. We will discuss specific gene mutations, such as those affecting the cationic trypsinogen enzyme or the cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator CFTR, and their implications in disease pathogenesis. Genetic testing and counseling considerations will also be addressed. After an episode of acute pancreatitis, patients may develop pancreatic exocrine insufficiency, characterized by insufficient production of pancreatic enzymes. This paragraph will focus on the diagnostic approaches for identifying pancreatic exocrine insufficiency, including fecal elastis-1 testing and the secretin stimulation test. Nutritional management strategies, such as pancreatic enzyme replacement therapy and dietary modifications, will be discussed to optimize long-term outcomes in these patients. Acute pancreatitis is a complex condition with different causes and treatment options. By understanding the details of its development, clinical management, and new therapies, we can provide better care to patients and contribute to evidence-based treatment strategies for acute pancreatitis.